and welcome back to Cargo Creations. Today's update video is going to be on uh, the Great Movie Ride. We're going to look at the updates to that and some of the progress we're making on that. And we're going to look at uh, Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure and the retheming of Splash Mountain. And then we've got a couple views that I've been requested to look at. Uh, some, some people have requested me to kind of go back into the contemporary and show some of those uh, uh, images of that as well and I'll do that for you as we get along in the video here but first let's take a look at um, the great movie ride and so as we go into this um, I want to remind everybody that the great movie ride is now Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway and a lot of um, people have been asking what this ride is um, if you do check out YouTube um, you can look at some uh, old videos some POVs of the ride it's a pretty neat ride. They're really, they're older movies. Uh, we just had a lot of fun going on those and those were some of the early days when we started going down to the parks and we just continued to do that until they made the change. We have not gone on the new ride yet. Um, it does look pretty neat. Um, it is nice that they have a, a ride dedicated to Mickey and Minnie. Uh, but we really did like uh, the great movie ride just from a, just a nostalgia point of view. So let's take a look at that and what's going on there. Um, <clears throat> I have not done the stickers yet for the, the signs. And so they are placed here with the Technic bricks. And uh, we're going to get that uh, hopefully this week. Uh, I've got to get some uh, stickers made and um, get those on some some tiles and get that uh, put up there the, the sign looks similar to this obviously um, that sign from the great movie ride and uh, we'll get that done soon um, the last time we uh, had an update i don't know if this complete side was done but we are, do have this side done obviously we don't have the sidewalk around there done uh, we've got to get some chains for some of the lines that that lead into that uh, entryway there um, obviously the front here, we want to get that spot on with some um, uh, palm trees and things of that nature, some park benches. So there's a lot of work still to do. And obviously into this entryway here, um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done there. But what, what we have gotten done here is in the interior. So I'm going to kind of turn this around a little bit so we can get the lighting a little better. And as we go inside here, you can see that here, if you guys recall, there's a pagoda right here. And that is going to take you into a queue line that comes around under a canopy and goes right into here. Okay, so I've got to get that um, made. I've got some ideas for that. I've got some pieces ready for that. I've still got some on order. And then this area back here... Um, it flanks these windows here. There's another set of windows over on this side, which flanks the main uh, building that, that looks like the Chinese theater, obviously. Um, so if we look around inside here, let's move this so we get some better lighting. I've got to work on my lighting for around this area here. And you can kind of see we've got the walls built up there. We've got some insets and some snot, a snot piece right there for some wall decor that they have. Um, and I think it's turned out really well. Um, obviously, we've got to get um, t uh, ceiling or roof, I should say, on top of there. We've also got um, the... Um, the tops of these buildings out front here, there's some spires that come up on the, on the corners here and, and then these sides here that come up over, which we've got to work on. So there's still a lot to do, but I think it's coming along really well. Um, um, like I've mentioned, I've got to get some palm trees and get that, um, get those settled in in the front here. Uh, on the ground in the front, there's also um, areas where uh, some of the Hollywood actors and that came in and did their handprints in uh, concrete. So I've got to work on getting that. I've got some ideas of how I'm going to pull that off. Um, we've also got around on this side, it's going to be shadowy, but you can see we've got that inside done as well. And over here on the ground, there's um, like a... Um, a gated area there or a fenced area with um, decorative um, uh, uh, plants and that yeah, uh, that doesn't mimic this side over here. 
To this side, we actually uh, go in the queue line through that area too, which is canopied over, which I've got to make a canopy for that as well. So still lots to do. Um, but when you look through the center here, it is symmetrical side to side. This set of windows, there'll be another set of windows over here, which will flank that main building there, that iconic look that you get. So that's what's going on there with the, uh, the great movie ride. So some changes will be coming to that. And um, I'm gonna now um, get in and show you a couple things into uh, the retheme of Splash Mountain. So we'll get there right now. And here we are over at Deanna's Bayou Adventure, uh, formerly Splash Mountain, ready for the re-theme. And um, what I want to show you guys is how I'm going to try to approach this because I do want to be able to go between the, uh, the new ride and the retro look of Splash Mountain for pictures and things. Um, so what I've got over here on this side, I've kind of set up this tree on this side, there's a big tree. And again, I'm going off the concept art that I've been, uh, that I've seen online uh, that, from Disney parks. And um, there seems to be a large tree over here. There is a tree on this side as well. So I've placed this one here. And this is just pre preliminary um, theming that I'm working on. Um, so bear with me here. Uh, tell me what you guys think about it. I think this tree looks pretty good on this side if you look at the concept art. Um, and then this one as well, that needs to be a little bit bigger, but I'm probably going to build up the land in front here. I am working with limited space as well, but like, for instance, this little piece right here, I can take that off and see I'm back to where, uh, we were with uh, Splash Mountain and then I can place that back on there again and it looks more of the greenery that they're gonna have all over um, the mountain here on top of the, um, the, the barn, uh, the canopy that you go under in the ride there. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to use that same concept here and build with those tree pieces on top of um, the, the roof here that's removable. Okay, so I can uh, come in and change it, you know, probably not overly quick, but at least I can change it if I want to go and get some retro pictures. I'm probably going to also take the top off, just take this top off, keep that, store that somewhere, and then make a new, the new top, it's more rounded over, it's got more foliage on it, and that. And that's kind of the way I'm approaching this uh, right now. The ride vehicle itself, um, I don't know if they're going to change it much, uh, but I am going to uh, keep one. Uh, that one's missing a back seat there. Let's take one. Here, this one's complete here. So one of these uh, pieces I will keep like this, and we'll see how much they change the ride vehicle because this is a pretty good build. This is on a rebrickable. Um, it's a pretty good uh, build for the uh, ride vehicle for Splash Mountain. So we'll see. I don't know if they're going to change it or not, uh, but I will uh, change. I've got three of them, so I will change accordingly. And if I have to make more, I will make more. So that's kind of what it's looking like over here um, by the retheme. As you can see down here, we've even got a little hint to the ride coming there with uh, the frog. And uh, so we've got the build wall up there. And um, we will, like I said, work on this periodically. We've got a little time. They're not going to be done until 2024, late 2024. So I'm not worried about uh, them beating me uh, to get this build made. I've had, I had Tron a good eight, nine months before they got it done. So I'm not really worried about that, but I do want to make it, you know, uh, do it justice. I think it's going to be a neat build. Tomorrow, uh, the, mini the new minifigs are coming out and they have a Tiana um, uh, minifig. So I'm excited about that. Um, and, uh, that'll be integrated into the, the build as well. And I think it's going to turn out really well. So kind of excited about that. And, uh, that's where we're looking there. Let's take some, uh, views around here. A couple people mentioned they like to get a couple more views of, of the Haunted Mansion back there. And here's the Haunted Mansion. 
We're looking over into Fantasyland there, right behind Peter Pan's right here, and into Fantasyland. So as we come around here, take a look down Main Street here. Wally's got a crowd with him right there, looking down past the trolley there, and down to the train station and the resorts. So. Uh, this was a good view here. Now I'm going to, I promised somebody I would uh, give you guys some views of the Contemporary Hotel. So I am going to get up there and uh, take the monorail over to the Contemporary and show you guys the finer details of that. We are back up in front of the park and there is the Grand Floridian. Here's the Polynesian. And as we go along the monorail track here, we're going to go around and into the Contemporary Hotel. And so there we do have the monorail inside. We have Mary Blair's mosaic there. And as we look down into Chef Mickey's, we've got a lot of people dining in there. So we look around. Got a vending machine there. We've got some hamburgers on the, the counter. If we look around into the Contempo Cafe then. And then we see the entrance to Chef Mickey's right there. And that is Chef Mickey's on this side. We've got Mary Blair's mosaic right here in the middle, the hidden Mickey inside. And if we come around the side, and we've got the other side with the five-legged goat. We've got the shout out to the security guys checkpoint to get up to the monorail and we've got the gift shop the big mickey ears on the gift shop there if we look in there we can even purchase some lego sets some pastries i think we have some there's the sorcerer mickey's hat a lot of goodies inside there Lumiere, some swords, some lightsabers there in the window. And so that is the inside of the Contemporary. We've still got some things to do to improve that as well. But for now, we're pretty happy with how that's turned out. Then we come out the other side here. We see the double tracks there onto the front of the train station. And as we lift over the train station, we go down Main Street. And while we're here, we can take a look at one of the new sets that they have out. And that's the, the mini parade. We've got Peter Pan. We've got Woody. Let's see if we can get down into there. It's a far reach for me right now. We've got Woody and Moana. Then we've got the trolley there, the magic store, down to the partner statue and the castle. You can see Thunder Mountain in the background there. Come around the side there, we can see the Haunted Mansion, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland here. As I pan out here, I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. I hope you like the updates, tell me what you think of Splash Mountain. Tell me what you think of the build of uh, the great movie ride. We're excited about that. And until next time, please again, subscribe, like, share, catch us on Instagram and TikTok, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye now.